I do think you're wrong with regards to the president uh, you know, not denouncing any kind of white supremacy. He has denounced that thoroughly. He has, the, you know, he has denounced the KKK. He's denounced so many other the hate groups that come up. I'm not so sure that he knew who the Proud Boys were specifically. Um, he did. He did mention their slogan. Stand by and stand tall, or whatever it was. My and again, my understanding was that they adopted that slogan and actually posted it on their Facebook page after the debate. That that wasn't their slogan prior. I'm not, and I'm not sure whether that's the case or not. Uh, I wasn't very familiar with the group. I could tell you, I've heard, I've heard of them. I, I believe that their leader is a gentleman. I shouldn't call him a gentleman. Uh, the name I think is Gavin McGinnis. Um, I had to look that up today. Um, and again, I'm just being polite and calling him a gentleman. You renounce it. 100%. I mean, look, I, I, I'm half Italian and half Jewish, and my grandparents met in a Nazi concentration camp. Trust me, I, I denounce any form of racism whatsoever. It's despicable. There's absolutely no excuse for it. There's no room for it. I remember Ronald Reagan's speech. I believe it was given at the NAACP many moons ago, you can find it on YouTube, where he absolutely denounces the KKK. I don't know that there were any other real hate groups back then. I mean, I watched this video, it has to be months ago that I've seen it. Um, Reagan is a person that I really aspire to. He had it right. There was no doubt about that. Um, concerning my grandfather, uh, I try to emulate them as much as I can. I think I have a little more pepper than, than they do. Um, uh, but as far as, I, I don't find it to be very hard as far as being Donald Trump's co-chair for the state of New Jersey, uh, especially in, in, in southern New Jersey. I can tell you it, it is, in fact, 